You're quite a hero, Mr. Connolly. There's an article about you in this morning's paper. Yeah, well, uh, don't believe everything you read. Oh, don't be so modest. Listen, uh, could you uh, get me those, please? Oh, sure. I mean, it seems to me as if Erica Kane and Brooke English owe you their lives. Uh, they don't owe me anything. What does that name tag say? Uh, Cecily? Mm, that's right. Cecily Woodruff. Well, Cecily, could, could you do me a big favor? Oh, sure, if I can. Listen, I feel kind of grubby, and what with the bum leg, I can't get it into the shower. Do you think you could give me a sponge bath? Um, I think one of the male nurses can help you with that. Oh, I know they could, but they wouldn't be as gentle as you. Oh, Mr. Connolly. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You call me mad, huh? <laughs> Come on, I know I'd feel better if you did it. Besides, uh, you said I was a hero. Doesn't a hero deserve a little uh, extra attention, huh? Well, you're not my only patient. I, I... Oh, I know that, but they don't need you as much as I do. What, I'm, I'm not embarrassing you, am I? I mean, I didn't mean... <laughs> well, <clears throat> you're not as weak and helpless as you make out to be, hmm? Well, I'll just say I've been cured. Well, then you'll have no problem bathing yourself, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're not going to tell me you didn't enjoy it as much as I did. Mm. I am on duty, Mr. Connolly, and you are recuperating. <laughs> oh, come on, you're avoiding the question. Hmm. Does that answer your question? Wait a minute, where are you going? I'm going on to my next patient. Well, listen, you can't just kiss and run off like that. Well, when you've fully recovered, I'll be around. Who loves to read real life adventure stories? And especially, may I say, when the hero is as handsome as Matt Connolly. <laughs> oh, I think it's a fabulous idea. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And with Jeremy to do the illustrations, it's oh, Nick. Oh, Gussie. What? What? Oh, oh. I said the magic word, didn't I? Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I just wasn't thinking. I am trying so hard to forget about Jeremy at the moment and where he is at the moment. Well, I lost my head. Erica, we know he's on your mind. Why don't you just fly off to Canada and go after him? No, no, I'm not going to put myself through that. I'm just not. Well, it's your life. Well, I trust him. I trust him, Olga, I do. Well, then there's nothing to worry about, is there? Yes. Natalie, oh, I can just see her now up there in Canada with this cat who ate the canary smile on her face. And how does she do it, Olga? How does she do it? Push all the buttons and make Jeremy run after. Oh, Olga, please get rid of whoever that is. I really don't want to talk to anybody about anything. I'll do what I can. Oh, hello. Hello there. You gonna ask me in? Matt, you've been sick. I mean, you, you, you're in bed with a... High fever, and, and you've been laid up in bed, and... Well, you can't expect us to bounce right back that did, fast. Did the doctor release you? No, I left on my own. I can't stand that place anymore. Well, Matt, I mean, that's really too bad. Uh, but I'm gonna have to call Dr. Martin right now and tell him that you're here. Look, I'm not going back. What I really need is to be around people. I mean, and not sick people. All I'm doing is taking up space. I can take pills any place. Here, for instance. Here? Sure, Erica, you, you'll put me up for a few days until I can get back on my feet, huh? I mean, it would speed up my recovery being around beautiful women. Well, uh, don't look at me. <laughs> it's not my house, it's hers. I'll tell you what. If Dr. Martin says that it's all right that you stay here, it's all right with me. Great. You can convince him if anyone can. Yes, 
Dr. Martin, I, I do understand. Yes. Yes, I will tell him. Yes, goodbye. Thank you. Well, what's the verdict? You can stay. Great. Providing you follow his instructions. Well, that goes without saying. Oh, Erica, I'll be the best house guest you've ever had. In fact, we can make each other feel better. I feel fine, thank you. Well, that's not what your friend said. Oh, God. just exactly what did my friend tell you? She told me that Jeremy was off to Canada, that you were kind of lonely and needed some company. And you know me, I'm, I'm quite willing to help any way I can. Let's get something straight right now, Matt. I'm not interested in the kind of help you have in mind. So if that's why you're here, I suggest you mosey on down to the Valley Inn and get yourself a room. Hey, look, don't snap your garters, huh? If you're not interested, just say so. So? Look, Erica, I have yet to force my attentions on any skirt, and I'm not going to start, especially with you. Besides, in my present condition, I'm not much of a threat to anyone. Well, I still think it would be much better if you get a room at the Valley Inn. I hate hotels as much as I hate hospital rooms. Look, if you want my life story, you're just going to have to let me stay. Okay. You can stay in the studio above the garage. What, and walk up the stairs? You can make it. Okay, okay, fine, fine. And first of all, I'm going to set down some guidelines. All right, great. But first, could you get me a bourbon and branch water? You're on medication. You can't have branch water. You can have regular water or soda. I'll take a soda. Sad little spread. Oh, um, that's what Cousin Thelma says that I should set out for anybody who's visiting Miss Kane this time of day. Who's Cousin Thelma? She's the regular housekeeper, but she's got a bad gallbladder, so I feel in for her. Well, that's great, but I don't give a flying. Uh, look, I don't really like iced tea, and I'm not really visiting Miss Kane. Oh, I, I know. You're the poor wounded man who saved Miss Kane's life. You know, it, it's too bad you can't help her out tonight. <laughs> Why? I, I understand she's going to a big club opening. Oh, she's got nobody to go with. I heard her crying on the phone to her mother. Where's Jeremy? Well, that's what she wants to know. From what I could hear, he's taken off after that Mrs. Hunter. Y you know, the blonde pregnant lady. Too well. Do you want me to pour you some iced tea? No, no. You see, I... I want you to come and sit by me. I need your help to eat one of those things. If you could find it in your heart to lift it up to my mouth. Oh, heavens, I, uh... I didn't know you couldn't use your arms. I thought you just wounded your leg. Oh, you see, I... I feel so weak. Oh, that's awful. Oh. Here you go. What's going on? Oh, uh, uh, Miss King, he, he just grabbed me. <laughs> Matt, if you cannot keep your hands off my housekeeper, Carl, just go to the kitchen. I can handle this. <sighs> What are you gonna do? Spank me? If you do not wish to be thrown out of my house, you will keep your hands and your sexual harassment off my housekeeper. Do you understand that? There are certain things that I will not stand for. Especially when you're not getting any yourself. I beg your pardon. Oh, I know it's tough, Erica. I've been there myself once. Look, at times like this, we've got to hang together. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, look, don't get your nose out of joint, Erica. I think it's disgusting myself. Beautiful woman like you, left high and dry with no date for tonight. Oh. You are impossible. I know. 
And with my leg being in the condition it is, I mean, look, I'm not only good looking on occasion, but I also... Oh, how can I clear myself of this? What's that sad little spread? Oh, um, that's what Cousin Thelma says that I should set out for anybody who's visiting Miss Kane this time of day. Who's Cousin Thelma? She's the regular housekeeper, but she's got a bad gallbladder, so I feel in for her. Well, that's great, but I don't give a flying... Uh, look, I don't really like iced tea, and I'm not really visiting Miss Kane. Oh, I, I know. You're the poor wounded man who saved Miss Kane's life. You know, it, it's too bad you can't help her out tonight. <laughs> Why? I, I understand she's going to a big club opening. She's got nobody to go with. I heard her crying on the phone to her mother. Where's Jeremy? Well, that's what she wants to know. From what I could hear, he's taken off after that Mrs. Hunter. Y you know, the blonde pregnant lady. Too well. Do you want me to pour you some iced tea? No, no. You see, I, I want you to come and sit by me. I need your help to eat one of those things. If you could find it in your heart to lift it up to my mouth. Oh, heavens, I, uh, I didn't know you couldn't use your arms. I thought you just wounded your leg. Oh, you see, I, I feel so weak. Oh, that's awful. Um, oh. here you go. Uh -huh. ah! What's going on? Oh, uh, uh, Miss Kane, he, he just grabbed me. <laughs> Matt, if you cannot keep your hands off my housekeeper, Carl, just go to the kitchen. I can handle this. What are you going to do? Spank me? If you do not wish to be thrown out of my house, you will keep your hands and your sexual harassment off my housekeeper. Do you understand that? There are certain things that I will not stand for. Especially when you're not getting any yourself. I beg your pardon. Oh, I know it's tough, Erica. I've been there myself once. Look, at times like this, we've got to hang together. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, look, don't get your nose out of joint, Erica. I think it's disgusting myself beautiful woman like you, left high and dry with no date for tonight. Oh. You are impossible. I know. And with my leg being in the condition it is, I mean, look, I'm not only good looking on occasion, but I also... Oh, how can I clear myself?